Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Grammarly with Google Docs. There are three steps involved in this. Firstly, you need to download Grammarly, it's free. Secondly, you need to install Grammarly as an extension on your internet browser. And thirdly, you need to open up Google Docs. So I'll walk you through all three steps one by one. The first step is to download Grammarly and get the free account. To do that, you need to go to the Grammarly download landing page. I've got a link in the description below that'll take you straight to that page. Okay, now that we're over at the Grammarly download page, you can see really clearly here, a button here, download Grammarly, it's free. All you need to do is click that button. You'll see a download has started and it's just finished downloading really quickly there for me, Grammarly installer exe, and you just need to click that. Okay, and that brings us to this prompt that asks us to sign up or sign into an existing account. If you have an existing account, you can click sign in. I'm assuming most of you will want to be signing up for free right now. So click sign up for free. There are a couple of ways in which you can sign up. You can sign up with Google, Facebook, Apple, or you can just enter your email address. I'm gonna enter my email address here. Okay, so here I've entered my email address, my password and my name, and I'm going to click agree and sign up. Okay, then you'll get this prompt here asking you to open Grammarly. I'll suggest that you do open Grammarly right now. Once you've opened Grammarly, they're going to give you a couple of prompts to get you started. Here where it asks you to continue to free or upgrade to premium, you could do both. Uh, I'm gonna continue for free for right now. And then start using Grammarly. You can take the quick tour if you would like. It's just a couple of, it's just really quick. You just click next, next, next. It doesn't really tell you all that much and then you can start writing. Now it's giving you a couple of examples here on how to, what you can sort of do with Grammarly, but at the moment, what we really wanna focus on is now that you've got an account, is getting it on your web browser, which is the next step. So to get Grammarly in your web browser, which is necessary in order for it to work on Google Docs, you'll need to search for Grammarly and then the name of your web browser. So if you're using Chrome, you would write Chrome, or if you're using Firefox, write Firefox and so on, and then extension. So for me, it's going to be Grammarly Chrome extension. So you can see that my first result is Grammarly for Chrome. And then I'm going to click add to Chrome. You'll see that it starts downloading in the bottom left hand corner. And then instantly Grammarly for Chrome has been added to Chrome. So you're good to go now. You've got it all added and running on your browser. And the next thing that you're going to need to do is open Google Docs. So to open Google Docs, you can just type in Google Docs in Google and then click Google Docs. We'll start a blank doc. And you'll see that Grammarly has popped up. So you can take a quick tour or click no thanks. If I take a quick tour, it's just going to tell me exactly what uh, Grammarly, how it works. Uh, it basically works really straightforward, so you don't know, need to worry too much about that, but it's really useful for when you take the tour for it to, to tell which one of your languages you use. So I usually use American English because most of my students are in the United States. So American English, correct spelling and, and correct spelling automatically. You can turn it on or off. I actually turn it off so that I can do my own spelling mistake corrections. Uh, because sometimes it'll make a suggestion and I'll say, actually, I don't think that's right. I'm going to stick to my original wording. And then I do like to see show synony synonyms and definitions though. Okay, let's try it. So right now I'm going to type in just a paragraph from one, from one of my students' essays to show you how Grammarly will work in Google Docs. Okay, so here we are with one of my students' works. It's just a copy of a paragraph from an old student's essay. And you can see automatically that there's these underlines of things that Grammarly is suggesting you change. So if I hover over that and I can just click remove the space, for example. Um, here it wants me to do a child instead of just child, for example. So I can just go through that and quickly think, do I agree with Grammarly's suggestion? If I do, I can just click to accept. Another thing you can do is on the right hand corner where it's got this red circle or now it's just turned into a yellow circle with a number nine in it. That circle is Grammarly saying that there are nine potential changes that you can make. So if I'm gonna click on that, here we go. We've got three red errors that need to be fixed. So let's go to all round, all dash round. That makes sense. Over to turn to on. Bromford Burn has a profound influence over my thoughts. It should be on. So yep, I'm happy with that. Let's change that. 
consider removing the space. That makes sense. I'm going to accept that as well. So now there are no more critical issues, but it's got all these different premium issues that I could look at. So I could fix some word choicing, some punctuation errors, some passive voice errors. So there's some really wordy sentences is another really good one that Grammarly Premium gives you suggestions about. I generally do suggest Grammarly Premium for my students, but I know that some people can't afford it. So Grammarly Free is fine for those people. It's not that big a deal. Um, Grammarly Premium will just give you a couple of more advanced helpful tips on improving your writing. So that's it guys, that's how to use Grammarly for Google Docs, very straightforward. All you need to do is download the free version of Grammarly, install the extension on your browser, whether it's Firefox or Chrome in this example, and then open Docs and it should work just as it has in this sample video.